Okay guys, welcome to part three and we are looking at spider acro move. Now, if you don't know what the spider acro is, have a quick look at this video that I'm going to pop in here. Um, it's a video of Karis, Cora's dance partner, doing the spider acro. Now, Karis is double jointed, so as she goes over, don't panic if you don't quite look like that. Like Karis' body bends in all sorts of weird positions. So have a look at that video now and then we'll go step by step through it. Okay, so with this move it's quite easy to break down, but it does take quite a bit of practice, quite a bit of upper body strength, shoulder flexibility, and just perseverance. Okay, so to start with, now you know that I can't do crabs and all that malarkey, but I can talk you through each section, okay? I was going to try and flip Bruce over but he wasn't playing. So I want you to practice this going that way and going that way, okay? So that you balance your body out. So we're going to start on our hands and knees and from there I want you to flip over using the outside hand and the outside leg and I want you to go over into full crab and then carry on flipping till you finish back on your hands and knees here, okay? So you'll start at one end of the mat, flip into crab, then back onto your hands and knees here, and then I want you to go back the opposite way. Okay, so this is a bit of a tutorial video, so I now want you to pause the video, and I want you to do that crab rotation 10 times. Okay, so now you've practiced that crab rotation, we go to the next level. So we start here. You're going to lift the inside arm and leg to get some momentum. Okay, so you'll lift, go over, try as you come over to leave this leg up in the air in your crab and then flip right over. So you'll do like a, a bridge with one leg. So it's the inside leg, the leg closest to the middle of the mat, which will lift up. So you lift, go over, you step this foot, go into your crab, bringing this arm down, this leg stays up, and then come all the way over. Okay, so then when we go the opposite way, you lift this arm, this leg, it'll be this leg that goes in the air. We come over into crab, this leg stays up, and we go back over onto all fours. Now obviously I'm just rolling around on the floor but you'll be in full crab. Okay, now pause your video, practice that 10 times. Okay, so the last section on how to get your spider is to jump both feet off the floor. So, so it's almost like it's like doing a cartwheel, but you're in a bridge position. So, this is why you've got to use that momentum of this. So, you lift, push down. As you push this leg down, really lift this leg and use the momentum to jump both legs over, straight over and here. So, both feet come off the floor. Now, to start with, just start by lifting both feet like a tiny little bit. Okay, so you'll flip, use the momentum, both feet off the floor, finish on your hands and knees, and practice it the other way along. Okay, so pause the video, give it a try 10 times. I will put Karis's video throughout so that you can see it, uh, and so you can just make sure that you're doing it the right way. So, practice each section 10 times. If you get stuck at a section, stay with that until you can master that. And then I really look forward to seeing these spider acros. I'm seeing loads of these in um, slow spots and I'm actually seeing them in slow rounds. I'm not sure if they're actually allowed, but check with your teacher, give it a try. Good luck, can't wait to see a spider. 